Hi, it's Dwyer. It's Wednesday, February 10th, 2021. RichardDwyer.co, a free site. Wealthspinning.blogspot.com, a free site. Let's talk about two cryptocurrencies that fascinate me right now. Please don't consider this video to be investment advice. Just view it for entertainment purposes. All I'm doing here is telling you some coins that I'm interested in. But first remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. Now I'm a big believer, huge believer, in the venture capital model of doing things, right? Where you really don't know who the survivors are gonna be in a space. I think in crypto, you know it's Bitcoin, and then there's everyone else. But you don't know which of the altcoins are gonna survive. So what I believe people need to do is they need to pick the best altcoins out there, right? Pick the best, not all of them, just the best altcoins out there. And then let the market decide which coin survives. Understand the possible capital gains in the cryptocurrency space are simply breathtaking, right? Some coins will go up 50x, 100x. What you want to do is you want to get there early before the coin completely explodes, right? And because you don't know with any kind of certainty which coins are going to explode, you need to have a basket of coins. Don't rely on one coin. You want a basket of coins, right? Let me point out that if I were to rely on one coin, it would certainly be Bitcoin, right? To me, that's the cash cow here. But if you're in the old coin space, I believe you need to have a few coins. I've been here online talking about my love of coins like Dash, some of the privacy coins, Monero, Horizon, for example, Cardano, right? I like coins that have a maximum supply, that are addressing a definable market, that have huge upside. Well, let's talk about two such coins here. Um, you know, all coins have been on a tear, but I like to buy dips. So today, for the first time in a long time, Elrond, the 23 ranked coin in terms of market cap today on coinmarketcap.com. Again, it's Elrond, E-L-R-O-N-D is dipping today. It's dropped quite a bit. As I make this video, it's down 14% on the day. Well, great. More beer for me. I have an order in to buy some this morning. I'm waiting for that open order to process. Let's talk about it. Understand, this coin unlike Bitcoin, unlike some other coins, is lightning fast. Folks, I mean quick. The reason it's lightning fast is because it has sharding, right? Just like Zilliqua, another sharding coin. This coin has sharding. By the way, one of the things I like with this coin is it has taken some of the best attributes of other coins and put them in one coin. So this coin is lightning fast, right? You can actually use it as a means of exchange. This isn't just a store of value. This is the coin you could use at the Starbucks. It also has a maximum supply. So those concerns that I have about Ethereum, about PIVX, about polka dot, I don't have here, right? You know when you get a piece of the action exactly how much action there could be in terms of the supply. 
you don't have the fiat currency problem of them just printing you to death with too much supply. This coin, and it's fascinating here. Keep in mind, I'm a Dash guy. Dash is also lightning fast. Dash also has a light uh, maximum supply. But this coin has smart contract capability. In fact, this coin handles multiple smart contract languages. That's very important, folks. So here you're getting what you're getting with other smart contract platforms. Only you're getting it with sharding, with a coin that's lightning fast. And here's the kicker. This coin has a high throughput. In other words, it is massively scalable. Understand this coin can handle a hundred thousand transactions per second. Right? This is above what Ethereum's doing right now. Hundred thousand transactions per second today. Let me also point out too that you know many of us get a little bit frustrated entering our wallets, right? You have to remember the username, you have to remember the password, you might have multiple wallets, right? Different wallet per cryptocurrency. It gets to be a bit of a nuisance, right? You're out someplace, you say, hey, player, I'll just send you the coin. Then, of course, you're on your phone and you're like, damn, what is the password for this wallet? Well, now you have the Myar wallet, M-A-I-A-R. You can find out more about this wallet at Myar.com. Again, M-A-I-A-R. Folks, this is a modern wallet by cryptocurrency standards. Understand, what you do is you set the wallet to your cell phone number. Right again, you set the wallet to your cell phone number. So you don't have to outthink yourself here. Beating yourself up over what the password was and stuff like that. No, the friends who know your number know where to send the coin. Right? You, you know, you get in your wallet without all the hassles. You just say, hey, you know, my number is this. Let me just punch it in. I'm in my wallet. Let me also point out, too, that Elrond allows for staking. And folks, now I'm someone who stakes a few cryptocurrencies. Let's just say the percentage they're giving you with Elrond is outrageous. Right? They want early adopters. Understand, you're an early adopter here. They don't have the network right now that Ethereum has in place. What they have instead are spectacular features. Build it and they will come. They're willing to pay you to be an early adopter if you're a staker. I believe you want to give this coin a look. The symbol is EGLD. Again, it's EGLD. And today, it's number 23 in market cap on coinmarketcap.com. The coin has been on fire, but it's pulled back a bit today. If you're a person who likes to buy the dips, this is the coin to look at. Let's talk about another coin. And this coin is kind of contrary to some other things, but I believe it solves a very important need in the crypto sphere. Now first, let me back up. Let's talk about another coin I mentioned here online. By the way, it's doing quite well since I mentioned it. XRP. And I believe whatever the SEC does, because this coin is global and has already been deemed to not be a security, 
in several of the world's most sophisticated economies, right, Singapore, etc., I believe XRP will continue to do well, right? But understand XRP started life as a security, arguably, right? I'm just giving an opinion here, not a factual statement. But it's now a utility token, right? Banks use it to transport currency. Well, that's led to SEC scrutiny. Well, what I want people to do is to focus, focus on Binance's BNB coin. Now, this coin's on fire right now. It's still on fire. The symbol is BNB. This coin started life as a utility token. This is a reverse XRP. So, of course, it didn't get a lot of scrutiny. You use the coin to get a better rate on Binance's exchanges. And the coin was spectacular, right? Many of the other coins, let's say I went to get some Bitcoin. I wanted to, you know, buy Bitcoin. Well, I could do so with BNB on the exchange, right? You always knew if you had BNB, you could exchange it for a lot of different kinds of coins on Binance's exchange, right? Well, understand, that's how the coin started life. And of course, you got a discount. You know, they charge you, they're in business. They charge you to change coins. If you use the BNB token, hence its utility, you got a discount early on. Well, now it's becoming more of a security. <laughs> and it's fascinating because of course, the SEC has already looked at the coin, hasn't had any objections. Now it's segue. Now it's moving away from being a utility token. You don't quite get the discount you used to get. In fact, over time, they're going to phase out the discount. Right? Also understand, let's be clear here. I prefer decentralized coins. Right? If I want a centralized currency, hell, I might as well fool around with government-issued currency. At least that currency has the full faith and credit of the government behind you. Right? Understand, this is a centralized currency. Binance is created, BNB coin is created by Binance. Right? But... Understand who Binance is. Binance is one of the world's most used and best known group of exchanges. The reason I say group is I was on Binance.com. Then, of course, the United States government decided, hey, and of course, CZ, the head of Binance, who's one of the visionaries you need to follow in the world of crypto. The U.S. government decided they were going to require additional know your consumer uh, requirements on exchanges. So Binance, in a moment of genius, decided they were going to comply and they were going to start a different exchange, Binance.us, which is one of the best exchanges I've come across. And understand, I've been on some exchanges that men under in the past. I've lost coins on some exchanges. With Binance, I don't have to worry about that. Either Binance or Binance.us. I feel like they know what they're doing. Well, let me just say, Binance.us, which is legal in the United States where I'm located, right? After you punch in your know your consumer information and stuff like that, you're going to have to reveal yourself. Let's just be upfront here. Right? Regulation has come to cryptocurrency. I understand some sites are moving away from it and stuff like that. But if you have enough of your savings in crypto, and if you do decent sized transactions on exchanges, unless you're going to be a total outlaw, you're going to have to reveal your identity to the United States government. So if you get by KYC, 
requirements on Binance, right? In other words, they want your name. They do. They want your social security number. They want information that the IRS can use to say, hey, player, you've been moving thousands of dollars on this exchange. <laughs> you've made profits. You need to pay us our tax share. Well, if you go through the Know Your Consumer Protocol, just understand that Binance, in my opinion at least, is one of the best exchanges out there. Binance.us, right? I think it's illegal now to transact on Binance.com for people in the United States. Let me just say this. This Binance coin, BNB, is special. Now it's centralized, but again, we're using a venture capital fund model here. In other words, we have decentralized coins, right? Understand where a centralized coin in this mix might work. I'm not a Bitcoin maximalist, right? I do believe Bitcoin is the best investment out there, right? I, I believe it is a much better value proposition than any other coin. But I do feel five years from now, you'll have old coins, including this coin. BNP not only has a maximum supply, folks, they're burning coins. The supply is not just there, not doesn't just have a limit on it. That limit is dropping. Let me also say too, that in the crypto world, this centralized coin serves an important purpose. The crypto world is balkanized, right? Dash people really don't know Elrond people, right? Polka dot people might not be completely in sync, even though they're close with Ethereum people. Many folks only hold one cryptocurrency. Everything else is a different neighborhood for them. They feel uncomfortable around that neighborhood. So they're on an exchange and they're dealing with what they're familiar with on an exchange they trust, an exchange that has a relationship with these other coins which are listed on the exchange. So folks will start to trust the exchange if the exchange is a good exchange, one with credibility like Binance, one that actually gives you a good price per transaction and offers a lot of selection. So what Binance coin is, is really what Amazon is. You know the brand name when you go to shop on Amazon, right? You'll see vendors on Amazon and you'll think to yourself, well, you know what? If this vendor is on Amazon, well, I trust Amazon. So I'm going to trust that these socks that I buy on Amazon actually are of a certain quality, right? Well, Binance coin to me is like the old Amazon coins, if you remember those. I believe down the road, Binance coin, BNB, is going to be an excellent store of value for people overwhelmed by the multiplicity of coins in the crypto space who know they can trust Binance, right? I'll concede a lot of trust is involved here. A lot of trust. You have a single point of failure when you're dealing with a centralized currency such as this one. But at least feel confident that you're not dealing with the government where some politician can step up and say, hey, let's print a lot of currency.
people can come up with wacky ideas like MMT, modern monetary theory, to justify printing a lot of government-issued currency. You don't have that here. Here you have Binance telling you, CZ, Google him, look at his comments on the future of BNB, telling you that they're going to continue to burn supply, that they understand the importance of scarcity, and understand as people transact in crypto more and more, they're going to come in contact with Binance more and more. Right? They're going to come in contact with this coin more and more. Right? They'll be on the site. They'll say, man, I need to make a transaction where I go from this cryptocurrency to that cryptocurrency. Or I just need to get out of a cryptocurrency and I don't want to move it to a stable coin because a stable coin mirrors fiat currency. Where can I move it where it's going to retain value? I believe they're going to rely on the Binance brand name. Right? And they'll say, well, I know these people are reliable. These people are credible. Just like there's a leap of faith in trusting Amazon. Right? Of course my phone's going off. And of course it's too far away for me to reach it. We'll just let it ring. And so keep an eye on this coin. It's been on fire, folks. It's one of the biggest market caps in the entire world of crypto today. Right? They're going to continue to cut supply on this coin. You're going to continue to be able to use the coin on Binance exchanges and understand they have exchanges in different countries and they're in legal compliance they're trying to be in legal compliance everywhere where they are right I believe that gives this coin significant upside right just like you trust an Amazon just like you trust a McDonald's when you're out someplace you don't know and you need to feed your family at an affordable rate, and you see a McDonald's and you say, okay, I know I can trust them, right? You're in a foreign country, you don't speak the language, but you know how to work the kiosk at the McDonald's. I believe that's the benefit this BNB coin is going to have. Let's be careful here. Binance has other coins, such as BUSD. That's a stable coin. We're just talking about one coin in particular here. The coin for which they're burning supply. The coin that's being heavily used right now. The coin that has appreciated to the point where it's in the top 10 in market cap in all of crypto right now. The coin where BZ is talking about increasing scarcity. Excuse me, CZ is talking about increasing scarcity in the years to come and that's BNB don't get me wrong this coin doesn't shard this coin doesn't have smart contract capability it's a store of value albeit a centralized store of value in my opinion this is a centralized version of Bitcoin I think it's worth a look so if you get one takeaway from this video. It's that I like Elrod EGLD is the symbol. And I like Binance's coin BNB. &B. Right now I'm just talking for myself. Please do not consider this to be investment advice. Rather what I want you to do is your own independent research. I think if you look at these coins, you're going to be surprised by Elrond's technological advances, its features, and by BNB's positioning in the marketplace, being backed by Binance, 
being heavily used and having decreased supply. Anyway, that's how I see it. Let me hear from you. I hope you leave your comments in the comment section of this video. Thanks for stopping by.